Hello, hello, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So the board exams are always fast approaching. So depending on where you live, um, I had students taking the board exam every single month, okay? Because I, I tutor Canadians, um, I tutor those in the States, I tutored some people like from Florida, just everywhere, okay? So internationally. Um, but a lot of people say to me, you know, they will be sending me emails saying I'm scared to take the board exam Whether they took it once and they were unsuccessful and then they, they haven't taken it yet for a couple years Or I've had students who have taken it twice. It's their last attempt and they've waited six months I've had students who failed the exam and then want to take it right away, you know, so it doesn't matter if you've waited a couple years if you just haven't taken it yet for several years if you are just scared to take it okay we all think the same thing you know i was a student once too where i was terrified to take the board exam because everybody knows you're taking it people ask you afterwards so how did it go if you're unsuccessful you don't feel good about that right um and it's even worse when let's say you're a dental assistant taking the dental hygiene exam your whole office knows you're taking it, they keep asking you about it, and then you're unsuccessful, you may feel like you're just not a good dental professional, but that's not true. The exam is tricky. That's why we have so many op um, opportunities to pass it. It's not an easy exam. I say all the time that it would be nice if a student failed once, if then they let you take the exam in a verbal way, you know, if they simply ask you questions and, and then you have a chance to explain to them what you know, because I have no doubt that 99.9% .9 of you guys know what you have to know to be a great dental professional, but you do, you have to pass that exam. So my advice is do not be afraid to take it because you have to pass it. It's, it's easier said than done, but the more nervous you are, the more you will not be able to pass because you're just so nervous. You're, you're not thinking properly. You're not thinking clearly. You've probably studied too much. You're, you're, you're probably up every morning, every night studying as hard as you possibly can, but it's just not necessary. So just try your very, very best to not worry too much about it. The best thing you can do is prepare. That's the best thing you can possibly do. So even if you're nervous, even if you're anxious, even, even if your mind just draws a blank, the best way to be prepared is to know what you have to know. So study, you guys. Study at least two hours every day. I say upwards to six hours. Make sure to get enough sleep. It will not help you if you come home at one in the morning, study for two hours, you're in bed for three hours, and then have to wake up the next day to go to school. You know, that doesn't help you. So study appropriately, study properly, Put the cell phone, put everything away, know what you have to know. And the best thing to do for that is to take mock exam type questions for the board exam. So that way you take them to test your knowledge. If you do horribly, that's okay because then that means you need to keep on studying. If a certain topic confuses you more in those mock exams, then you need to study that topic. If you need help with this, sign up with me for the Dental L board exam prep courses because I offer mock exams. There are modules inside the membership login area. We tutor every single week. I upload videos probably twice a week just simply talking about a topic for 10 minutes. So I have um, videos that are about 10 minutes long to do something, you know, short and, you know, quick for, for all of you who are thinking, okay, I, I have to go to school in half an hour, but I just would like to study something quickly. So I have videos that are 10 minutes. I have vi um, videos that are half an hour if you want to study something a little bit longer. And our live tutoring sessions are one hour long every weekend. So you are always learning something. You can, you know, mix and match, study oral pathology one time, study nutrition another time. And the best thing that I say to do is start on one topic, S study that topic thoroughly. It might take you two days, it might take you a week, but study it thoroughly and then take a mock exam on that topic to test your knowledge. That's the best thing to do and that will make you feel the most confident. If you still need help, let me know though. I will leave the link 
for um, the Board Exam Prep Academy at the bottom because I will tell you guys what to, what to study. I will tell you how to study, when to study, so then that way you know you are studying properly because I, I have helped countless students pass the exam. I still have a 99.4% success rate, so I can help you pass. So if you have no idea where to start, start with me because I make it easy and, and I can make things and you feel so much more confident. So good luck, try not to stress. I know it's easier said than done, but you have to take the exam to be a dental professional. So the best thing to do is to study, 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 know everything and then you will hopefully be fine. So good luck. If you need help, please let me know.